endorsed by some of the top WTA and ATP players on tour. This is the Babolat Pure Aero 2023. Babolat launches another generation of one of the most popular rackets on the market. Sporting its signature yellow color and a new glossy finish, the Babolat Pure Aero boasts high level of spin and speed, perfect for a wide range of players. Babolat adds NF Squared technology, which uses flax inserts in the handle and upper hoop to soften ball impact. Additionally, FSI Spin technology gets updated with slightly tighter string spacing for more control on every stroke. True to its heritage, the Pure Aero oozes spin and maneuverability from the baseline. I love how it adds just a little bit of extra spin to my ground strokes to keep them in the court and dropping in front of the baseline. And I loved how I didn't have to alter my strokes or game style to get that extra spin. I also appreciated the denser string spacing in this update. I thought it offered a little bit more control and this allowed me to pick a target, swing out, and have no fears of overhitting. Babolat is known for making great serving rackets and the Pure Drive is still my favorite racket to hit first serves with. However, this Pure Arrow takes the spot for favorite second serving racket. I just had ease of generating racket head speed that I can maintain throughout a whole match. And then that spin just allowed me to get a little bit of kick and get it outside of my opponent's strike zone. With the new technology that lowers the stiffness rating a little bit, I still find this to offer a crisp response, although slightly less than the previous model. Overall, I found this to be a really versatile and user-friendly racket that really complements my game. The Pure Arrow to me has always been synonymous with easy power and spin. And with this update, I felt like this is the most spin-friendly version yet. Um, but I felt like the power level wasn't as, quite as much as with the previous generations. From the baseline, I loved how maneuverable it felt. It was really easy to whip the racket around and generate tons of spin and great angles with it. I also felt like I was hitting my targets really well with this racket. Uh, up at net, I loved hitting volleys with it. Uh, it felt really quick and maneuverable and responsive. Um, it, was also, it also had a really nice generous sweet spot and, and enough power to put the ball away. Uh, on my serves, really no complaints there. A really great blend of just power, spin, and control. I'd say my only one negative here is that I didn't feel I was able to get as much effortless power and depth with this version. But overall, I felt like with this update, Babylon has really upped the amount of spin and control. And with that lower swing weight, it has made the Pure Arrow even more user-friendly than ever. It's definitely a must try. It's always a fun time to get out on the court with a new Pure Arrow, and I really like the feel um, the update that Bubble have done to this one. The feel is a little bit softer, a little bit more dampened from the string bed, and I like the string bed response on this racket too. It just feels more classic Pure Aero than we've had recently. I thought like the Pure Aero was getting a bit too close to the Pure Drive and its playability. This one brings it back. This one's 100% Pure Aero. I feel like I'm on the sweet spot, off the sweet spot a little bit more, whereas with the previous versions and with the Pure Drive, it's a bit more of a forgiving response and you can drift around in the string bed and still kind of get that same feel out of it. This one, I definitely felt more dialed in. I liked it on my touch shots. Um, when I was going for the lines, definitely felt like I was getting a bit lower trajectory out of the string bed on this one and a more accurate shot. Uh, like Jay said, tons of spin, you can really whip it around. It's a very fast feeling racket. So a uh, really nice update. Definitely worth a demo if you're a Pure Arrow fan or if the Pure Arrow hasn't really appealed to you in the past, I think you're going to like the feel of this one, so definitely get it in your hands and give it a hit. Let's check in with the crew in Europe now to see how the new Pure Arrow worked out for them. Alex, give us your impressions. Thank you very much, guys. It was a real pleasure to test this new Pure Arrow from Babola. First of all, the design looks amazing. Glossy and bright, it makes me feel like this racket will be a real success on the tour and also in a tennis club. Regarding the specificities of this racket, everybody knows that it's a powerful racket, but with this new version, I got a lot of control as well. At the baseline, I was able to produce a huge lift and then do some drop shots and slices. It makes me feel that this update of the Babola Pure Arero allowed me to change my game doing the points. At the net, it was still a bit hard to totally control the ball, but the feeling was great as well. About my serve, it was easy to make both slices and kick serves. I will recommend this racket for the players who are looking for powerful rackets with a bit more control than the previous version. So now let's see what Valerie is thinking about this new Babola Pure Aero. Thank you, Alex. I'm always excited when a new version of the Pure Aero comes out as this is the weapon of choice for me for the past 15 years. What I absolutely love about the racket 
is the great amount of spin I can generate with this racket and the easy power it gives me. In addition, I have great control hitting drop shots and slice backhands. The main difference now with this new update is probably the sound. It feels a lot uh, quieter. Uh, also, the glossy finish, I really like it because it feels nice in my left hand. And the main difference though is the new and tighter string pattern, which adds more control. I personally prefer the old version just because it gives me more power and now that I'm getting older, it's better for me to have a little more power than control. Now I'm handing it over to Benji, let's see what he has to say. Thanks Val, this is the second time that I will play test the Pure Arrow. The first time was for the previous version and this one I really like it. This is the perfect balance between power and control. If I have to compare with the previous version, the new one is easier to keep the ball on the court and reach my target. You also can still find easily spin with effortless. On clay court, this is one of the best weapons to beat your opponent thanks to perfect trajectory with a lot of spin like cross court for example. As the balance is a little bit ahead oriented, on the serve it's easy to have a first heavy serve and for the second I can put a lot of spin, this is what I especially like on clay court. I can be aggressive from the first shot. I also like the stability that allowed me to defend with counter pressure shot from every spot on the court. It also has been a very good weapon on the volley because I could make some drop shot and also some heavy volley. To conclude, the perfect combination between power and control plus an improvement regarding feel makes this racket very playable by every kind of players. I'm even thinking about to switch for the new version. We still grab this racket with the RPM Blast at 52 pounds. For more information about this racket or others, be sure to check out them on Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe or Tennis Only. Thanks for watching.